We're going to be talking about display cables. Specifically, we're going to focus on HDMI high speed or ultra high speed HDMI cables. So, if you are someone in the market for like a fancy OLED panel or an OLED TV or an 8K60 panel or a high end gaming monitor, whether it's 1440p, 240 or 4K, 120 or more, this is probably the cable you're going to need if you need to drive monitor via an HDMI cable as opposed to a display port cable. So let's take a look at the cable here from Silkland because the reason why I like this brand one thing on their display port cables that they also have they don't have the teeth. Now some people might prefer the teeth but if you're someone like me who's constantly having to swap out hardware for reviews and testing different systems different graphics cards for example I don't like the clips. Sometimes it's better. It's just easier to just pull it out and plug it in, just like with an HDMI cable like this. So this is an 8K60. You can see it says HDMI 8K or one or 4K 120. This is perfect for like a PlayStation 5 because PlayStation 5 supports HDMI 2.1. The main thing that you're going to want to look for is not specifically 8K. It's actually that 48 gigabit per second because the thing that will determine if you have a high quality cable versus one that will cause flickering so for example if you've got random monitor flickering one of the things to look for is is it actually the cable because oftentimes a bad cable or a bad connection causes monitor flickering or display flickering but I know that these from Silkland these are pretty high quality you can see that they are braided they're braided cables so they don't get they resist getting tangled they're gold plated as well but I think most cables these days most decent quality ones are gold plated but these are gold plated so it's got this e-braid enhanced braiding technology here to prevent tangling they feature an ergonomic design so it's easy to plug in so for example it's smooth here so it's easy to plug into the graphics card or the TV or the monitor and it supports technically this cable right here it says 8k but it can support 10k 30 I know 10k over HDMI there isn't really a 10k display yet but uh, 8k 60 would work fine 4k 144 works 4k 120 Hertz works as well so this is the cable itself let's go ahead and show in Windows what it looks like once you're using this cable. Okay, so we're now inside Windows. We have the Silkland 48 gigabit 8K cable connected to a Sony InZone M9 monitor. You can see the monitor name up here. And then we have a triple display setup. So this is the 4K monitor over HDMI. It tells you that it's connected over HDMI. And then color depth 10 BPC we're running at a RGB 444 pixel format so that's the full range in terms of the RGB color and then down here you can see under the display specs we are running it at 3840 by 2160 with a refresh rate of 120 Hertz so that is that is the maximum refresh rate that this Sony monitor does when using HDMI now if we were to use DisplayPort, which I've done a video on the Silkland 8K, actually a 16K DisplayPort cable previously on this channel, that one can run at the full 144 Hz. The point is, you can use t the full 10 BPC color depth with this monitor and the full range with this cable. And the nice thing about this cable is because it's a high quality one, you don't have to worry about monitor flickering. All right, and then just to kind of show how it looks here, I don't know if the HDR is being captured in the recording, but this is what it looks like playing Dragon's Dogma 2, just to use this as an example. So just to kind of show the settings here, we are able to run 4K 120 over HDMI, variable frame rate, variable refresh rate is turned on, etc. So it's like silky smooth. All right, well, there you have it. That's what I recommend if you're looking for an 8K capable HDMI cable or if you're going to build this with a high-end PC and connect it to an OLED monitor or something like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any questions. 
in the comments below regarding HDMI 2.1 and anything DisplayPort as well, because we cover that on this channel as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.